to be zero. So M at point C is equal to 40 power three times by point eight is equal to 32 times 10 to power three Newton meter. The other one is Newton and they are constant. Um, Eugene. Yes, Opera. Can you please scroll up to um, B dash C? I, I want to see if you made a mistake. Okay, never mind. Opera, are you okay? Yeah, we're good. Thanks. Okay. So now, sir, the yes. direction of the VC, why is it pointing out if it's a negative load? Ah, because we do the analysis from right to left now. Our analysis direction change because remember what I told you? Positive shear and positive bending moment. Left to right, the direction is different. Right to left, the direction is different. Make sense, Jia Cheng? Yeah, but like, like when you initially assume this, so this is just assumption. This is known as assumption when we are doing positive shear and positive bending moment analysis. It's okay, like before you learn math. Zero is the center, towards the right is positive, towards the left is what? Negative. Yeah, but the number you calculate is a negative number. Where? So the VC is a negative number and it's still pointing up? Yeah. Because it's positive shear and positive bending moment orientation. Yes, I'm, 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 it, 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 is, is it because you are not clear why this is going up and why this is going anti, uh, going clockwise? Is that why? No, I'm, I mean, like the FY is pointing up positive and it is pointing up, but it's negative value. Which one negative you don't understand or you don't see? See the FY? Upward yeah. is positive, yeah? Yes. And the VC, you calculate the load is negative 40 kilonewtons. 1940, what is 1940? Negative 40. Yeah, because I bring it over, it's negative, right? So if it's negative, it should be pointing down, right? Yeah, because I bring it over here, right? So positive become negative, right, Jia Chang? Right, it is negative. I, I understand it's negative, but on, on your chart, on the graph, it's pointing up. Yeah, because this is up. This is your VC going up. This is also going up. So summation of forces is going up. So it's 40 times 10 to power 3 plus my V at point C is equal to zero. Then V at point C, you bring it over here, is minus 40. I got all the numbers so right it, here. No, it's saying that the direction the assumption is wrong, sir. Because if you get a negative, that means your direction is wrong. So um, you want VC to be coming down? Because you got a negative there. That's basically yeah, because the value is negative. The, ana the arrow on the analysis is an assumption. Wait, the stop talking, stop talking. This is the assumption, positive shear and positive moment assumption. Okay, only with this, then I can form this equation. After that, then I realize that VC, if I bring over VC is equal to minus 40. I cannot now, okay, I cannot draw this. Because I'm going to do a static analysis. If I do this, I get what? Minus VC plus by 40 times 10 to power 3. Now you're telling me that VC is equal to positive 
40 times 10 to the power 3, and this is wrong. Jia Chang, does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. I just, like, after you calculate the number, the values, like, the direction is different. Yeah, so the direction is different. It's okay. It's telling us that VC is going in a negative value. It is okay. I cannot change this direction initially. No, no, you say that you change it afterwards. No, 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 no talking, no talking. Jia Chang, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, I know. I so that initial assumption is always... Yeah, you cannot just like change that. the direction because we are making the analysis as positive shear, positive bending moment. Okay? I have to be very clear on this because I don't want the rest of the class to be confused. Jia Chang, does that make sense? Yeah, so when you calculate the moment, you use the initial assumption direction? Yes. Okay. You don't change direction. You don't change the direction for me because I will go to your house now and look for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Being creative, you cheeky sort. Okay? But anyway, it is a good question. Okay? So, sir, question. Oh, shit, man. If that question is related to Chia Chang's question, I'll come after Chia Chang now. Yes, what is your question? No, no, no. It just... Because you said that whenever your direction is right, you put a cursor and you put the right direction after your analysis. Huh? So like this one, VC is negative 40, right? Can, can you, you all wait? Can, listen, can you all wait? We are forming the equations first. Okay, we are getting the concept. Later on, when we draw, you will see everything. Okay, okay? okay. relax. I Okay, okay. I just okay. that you would. Chia Chiang, you cheeky sort, you are calling me emotion, Chia Chiang. Unbelievable, you know? You cheeky okay. sort, you make you confuse the whole class, and now no, you're that, calling me emotion. That was, no, for, that's me. That was for myself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Opara, just means the initial direction, but the assumption we need to form. Opara, just imagine that you did not listen to the conversation the past five minutes. Okay? <laughs> Just imagine that. <sighs> okay? So you, 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 don't, you don't do this initially. When you form the equation, when you do right to left, it's always going up and anticlockwise. We have to follow this analysis down here, what we mean by positive shear, positive bending moment analysis from left to right or right to left. I just did right to left. Okay, now. I'm going to make things worse. <laughs> okay, let's say you don't want to do right to left, you want to do left to right. Also, can I will show you now? Okay, so the same thing. Okay, we are going to look at point C, where x is equal to 3.2, right? We are going to do Left to right. Okay, we are going to do left to right. Okay, so we know that we have a load down here. This load is equal to 50 times 10 over it. So this is our point A, our point B, and this is our point C. Let's get things right first. Okay, BC. Is going downwards because we are making the assumption of positive shear and positive bending moment. Okay? Then at point B over here, we have 120 times 10 to power 3. Right? Over there, we have 120 uh, times 10 to power 3. Right? And then we know the distance from here to here is 0 0.8. We know the distance from here to here is equal to 3.2 minus 0 0.8 is equal to what? 2.4, okay? And then we know the equivalent load over here is equal to uh, 50 times 10 to power 3 multiplied by 3.2, and the distance from here to here is equal to 3.2 divided by 2, okay? So, Summation forces going upwards, y is equal to zero, is equal to 120 times 10 to the power 3 plus by or minus 
by 50 times 10 to the power 3 multiplied by 3.2, okay, minus by V at point C is equal to zero. So V at point C is equal to 120 power 3 minus by 50 power 3 times by 3.2 is equal to minus 40 times 10 to the power 3 newtons. The answer is exactly the same like what we had before. Okay. We don't change the direction of VC. Okay. You cheeky sort cha cha. Okay. <laughs> and then we have a dot down here. We take a moment. Okay. So we take a moment. So I mentioned about moment Z direction at point C is equal to zero. So it's equal to the 120 is generating a, a anti -clock, a clockwise. 120 times by 0 0.3 multiplied by 2.4. Then we have a 50 times 10 to power 3 multiplied by 3.2 multiplied by 3.2 divided by 2, right? plus by m at point c is equal to zero okay so m at point c is equal to minus 120 power 3 times by 2.4 plus by 50 power 3 times by 3.2 times by 3.2 divided by 2 minus will become plus will be 32 times 10 to about 3 newton meter the answer is exactly the same but why I but which one will make more mistake? Which one will make more mistake? Right, left to right, this one you will make more mistake. Why? Why will you make more mistake? Because you have more component. If you get the distance wrong, what will happen? You are screwed. Yes or no? Down here you only have what? One force. That's why when I teach you, I don't want you to be one pony egg. You know what's one pony egg? You need not to jump. Right? I want you to jump and able to what? Roll around. Yes or no? Okay? Then you become competent engineer. Okay? So give me another like five minutes. Then we are done. Okay? Then, so now we know, right? Our uh, point C is equal to minus 40 times 10 to about 3, and then the moment is at 32 times 10 to about 3. Okay, then we find C to D. So from C to D, now you, you all want to do left to right or right to left? Right to left, right? If I do left to right, 12.30 will still be here, you know? That is the thing, time, time. You have two and a half hours to do five questions, for example. Time. Okay. I'm not saying you have so five, five questions. questions? <laughs> 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 uh, uh, who is that? Well, might, as well, it? might as well give us all zero. Oh, no, I thought uh, it's all Chia Chang's fault. Okay. You have five questions. <laughs> no problem. Sir. No problem. We can do it. Yeah. I, I miss you guys, man. Next week, last week. Okay. <laughs> And then some of you say, I don't miss you, Eugene, okay? By taking your course, it is a life-changing and life-shortening process. Sir, you're going to see half of us next semester anyways. Huh? What? No, you're going to see half the people from the start of the class next semester. Next semester, I'm not teaching, okay? So you can teach, see the other instructor. Anyway, who else teaches strength of materials? Huh? What? Yeah, it's a life-changing and a life-shortening experience, isn't it? Don't you think so? It is, right? I know that because I got that comment a lot. Eugene's class is a life-changing and life-shortening course. So we know that this is X now, right? So we know the entire length of the beam is what? The entire length of the beam is, is what? Uh, 0 0.8 plus, 0.8 plus 2.4 plus 0 0.8. Okay, 0.8 plus by 2.4 plus 0.8. Okay, so it's 4 meters. So it's 4 minus x 
B as a function of X is coming down. Moment as a function of X is going that direction. Okay. So positive is going up. Summation of forces in the Y direction is equal to zero. Right. So it's 40 times 10 to the power 3 minus V as a function of X equal to zero. So V as a function of X is equal to a hey, I'm, I'm 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 doing this one it's all cha chang's fault see sir see <laughs> okay so this is equation number five okay you know what is different is when i'm teaching you guys it's not a life shortening experience you know Whole thing is equal to zero. So it's equal to uh, 40 times 10 to about three, four minus X, right? And then uh, minus M as a function of X is equal to zero, okay? So M as a function of X is equal to minus 40 times 10 to the power 3, right, plus by 160 times 10 to the power 3. Okay, there's our equation number 6. So going back to our table. Minus 40 multiplies x. Okay, and then minus 40 times 10 to power 3 x plus by 160 times 10 to power 3. How come Vx is not an equation? Oh, it's an equation. Sorry. Thank you, Opara. Opara pay very high school fees. He demand everything to be done properly. Yeah, value for money, okay? And then finally, okay, at point C, this is equal to zero, and this is also equal to zero, or point D, okay? So we just seen the process, how to go from left to right, right to left, okay? I'm going to stop here. We are halfway, yes. Hey? Well. When it be multiplied by x term uh, for c to d, the shear force is constant. Okay, so where are we now? We are just halfway because after that we are going to sketch the shear force bending moment equation. Then we are not going to do failure analysis. Okay, if that's the case, I will see you guys next week. I have a lot of fun because of Chia Chiang and Opara coming back with all those questions. Okay, I'll see you guys sir. next week. No, sir, hold on. Huh? C to D again. That's supposed to be you again. Andre, what is it, Andre? I'm using this one. Hey? C to D, isn't it supposed to be an equation? Huh? C to D, section C to D. Yeah, it's an equation. But it's minus 4 times 10 at 3. It's not just huh? a constant. Is that just a constant? Yeah, equation can be a constant, right, Andre? Okay. Okay, Andre. Okay. Okay, it can be a constant, right? Yes. What about the next? Huh? What about the next I will test you how to form the shear force and bending moment equation. Okay, so you can test the next. Yeah. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> yeah. Those of you online, I know. Good night. Okay. Uh, I'm going to step recording first. Okay. Oh my gosh. It's a good class.